Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas here and today I'm going to show you how you can make a little drying tent for your artwork. I bought 15 pieces of plumbing pipe that were all one metre in length and then I cut three of those in half so that way I would have six half metre pieces. With my T section connector pieces that I have bought six of, I am just joining at each end one metre pieces. This is going to start to create my rectangle. My rectangle is going to be 2 meters by 1 meter. Feel free to make it whatever size that you want. I'm just making it this large as I have a few large commission pieces coming up and I need to be able to protect them while they dry. I also have made a little small square one which is just the 1 meter by 1 meter. Now at each end of the large pieces that I've just made, I am now using little corner pieces to connect the pipes together. So this will form my first rectangle. Now that I have made my two rectangles, I am now going to use a little bit of plumber's glue. Um, I did find I went back and added a little bit of plumber's glue into the corner joints as well, just to make them a little bit more tough. So plumber's glue is great because it's designed to work with the piping. And then I'm just using one of my half meters that I pre-cut to connect it into the two T-bar sections. And then you just want to repeat this on the other side. Now, because I couldn't find any corner joints that had the extra little part like the T-bone, I am just putting a little bit of duct tape underneath and some of the plumber's glue. And I'm going to use one of the half meters and I'm going to use that on each corner. Now the duct tape just helps it give a little bit more stability because there isn't a little hole for it to slide into like the T-bone joints. But obviously if you can find a piece that's a corner piece with a little slide into bit, then go for that one instead. And then you just want to do the same with the top part. It's really hard using duct tape and plumber's glue with gloves on. But the plumber's glue does have a big thing on the side of it saying poisonous so I definitely recommend making sure that you wear gloves when you work with the glue. So I've just bought some thick plastic sheeting and this is actually um, for roofs for the insulation which I bought from a hardware store. It was the only plastic I could find that was thick enough um, because obviously you don't want it to just rip really easily like a plastic drop sheet would. So you just want to place that all over the top um, and then you're just going to use your duct tape and sort of tape it all in and hold it down tight. This doesn't look pretty, but it's effective and it does the job. So I found the easiest way to do this was to turn it upside down and kind of wrap it like a present. I would also say a second pair of hands would be incredibly helpful to do this. This took me a little bit of time and effort to get this done. So if I had someone else that would have just sped up the process so much more. The reason why I chose to use plumber's pipe is because it's really lightweight which means I can lift this over the top of my artworks by myself and also it's really cheap too. So that's why I went for the piping instead of using wood or something else. This plastic is also great to use as drop sheets for when you're doing your resin art as it's nice and thick. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. So it's great for larger pieces. I've also got a smaller one which is just a little square which is one meter by one meter but it will protect your artwork while it's drying from any dust or bugs or anything that else that might get into your artwork. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up.